Kia ora, ko Kevin Pipairangi Awau from Horota Pharmacy. He te mōhi o Awau kei a koutou te tikanga. I know that you have a choice whether to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Make your decision with your whānau, hapu and iwi in mind. Our people are my reason. So who is your reason? Ko wai tō take. For more information on the COVID-19 vaccination and how you can get vaccinated, make an appointment with your local GP or visit hauorataitafiti.org.nz. Kia ora, ko Kiriana Kingi Nepe tōku ingoa. As a doctor at Hauora Tairawhiti, I know full well the importance of getting both doses and being fully vaccinated for COVID-19. A lot of my patients here in Te Tairawhiti are kaumātua, and our kaumātua are among the most vulnerable to COVID-19 infection. I'm getting the vaccine to protect me and them. So, who is your reason? Ko wai tō take. For more information on the COVID-19 vaccination and how you can get vaccinated, make an appointment with your local GP or visit hauorataitafiti.org.nz. Welcome, whānau, welcome to this uh, celebration of 100 years of Ngāti Pro East Coast Rugby. Just walking around the field. That's uh, the parade that's happening just before the kickoff in the main game. And a uh, few legends out there. Uh, I can see Joe McClutchy out there, of course, legendary coach as well, uh, Mr. McClutchy. Oh, yes, yes, and player. And, and uh, player in this day, uh, there's plenty out there. I uh, saw Willie Waito. Oh, for me, a lot of those large oh, record group out there. That's uh, Mr. Jim Morris, uh, yeah. uh, one of my first. Uh, Call ups to the coast, he was the coach. Oh, cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to thank him for that. <laughs> yeah, Boydy Donald. Boydy Donald, another legend there, the only uh, East Coast player to play in the black jersey. But we've got another fellow who's played in the black jersey today, uh, but not he hasn't represented the coast before, and he'll be making Aye. his debut this Aye. afternoon. Yeah, and he looks pretty good too, just watching them training earlier. So if you hadn't heard the news, Farno Nehemil Nuskara will be debuting for Ngāti Pro East Coast today. There's a few other debutants. We'll get into the naming of the team very shortly. But out on the paddock there, you have the legends of yesteryear, all the former players uh, acknowledging uh, the crowd today. And the, uh, I suppose it's part of the celebrations for the 100th uh, anniversary of Ngāti Pro East Coast Rugby. That's right, and we did see a wonderful Legends uh, match earlier with uh, Gatipuro East Coast and Poverty Bay Legends, and a win for Gatipuro East Coast. I think it was 46 points to 20. The final score was an entertaining match, thoroughly entertaining match. Uh, some of them look like they could be in the main game, Keza. <laughs> I reckon. Uh, great to see them out there, though. I mean, for me, uh, the highlight of that Legends game was Ibi Poi. 19, oh. 1978, he debuted for Ngāti Pro East Coast and still running around out there like a young fellow. It, it may have e even been earlier. I'm just hazarding a guess that uh, around 78 would have been his time. Uh, he would have been a, a spring chicken by then. I think he's about 62, 63 at the moment. Still running around. <laughs> he beat me. Uh, I had to dodge and pick up the microphone. But just yeah. looking, looking through these past players down here, cares. I can see VJ Takarangi. VJ, a renowned uh, kicker of the ball, as the Knights Pro East Coast team make their way out onto the park. Kezo, we'll get you to run through that Knights Pro East Coast team, please. All right. So uh, just running through the front row now. Number one is uh, Perrin Manuel. He'll be vice captain as well. Jody Tuhaka comes into hooker with Sam Martinger. Uh, new cap at three, Sam Martinger Jr., that is. Paddy Allen at four with uh, Juani Tibuana at five. Richie Green goes into the sixth jersey on the blind side with uh, Willie Bollingfield, Bollingford uh, at seven, open side Hone Haerewa 
Captain at 8, Sam Parks at 9, Terangi Fraser at 10, Taina Portai 11, Tafal Stewart at 12, Tutere Wainga 13, Tipene Meihana 14, and Nehe Milna Skara at fullback. In the reserves, we have Adrian Collier, uh, Ricky Waitor, we also uh, have uh, Jorian Tangaide, and uh, Tanira Tamanui Nepia. Trent Prophet, uh, Hamwera Moana, finishing off there, uh, the reserves with Josh Dearden. And uh, you mentioned young Sammy Martinga Jr. there. We pay homage to his uh, whanau, and I believe he's here to acknowledge his father. His father, a legend in the Ngāti Pro East Coast Blue Jersey, Sammy Tōtiti. Sammy Sausage, young junior here today, and great to see him in that Ngāti Pro East Coast jersey. And speaking of the jerseys, whanau, these are commemorative jerseys with the names of uh, all of the players who've represented East Coast on the East Coast jersey, and I believe Poverty Bay, their commemoration jersey is the same. And they will be presenting a jersey to uh, East Coast as part of the 100 year celebrations and that is a presentation from Poverty Bay to Ngāti Pro East Coast. Let's have a look at your Poverty Bay visiting team today. Nehe Puni wearing number one. Ricky Terekia captain at number two. Toru Nono wearing number 17 at number he'll be in the front row. Fletcher Scammell and Daniel Law are uh, your locks today. Jesse Carpenter, Fawn White, Morgan Reedy are uh, your loose trio. Rob Borton, he's the vice captain, he'll be wearing number nine. Jake Holmes in at first five. Tepe he fairly uh, on the left wing. Jacob Lee for second five. Tione Hubbard uh, at the in the midfield at centre. Right wing, Aaron McLellan. And at the back is Andrew Toa Tavalu. And uh, looking at the reserves, Share Scudder. Jared Broughton, Justin Allen, Keanu Tomata, Mario Council, Austin Brown, Taino Pody. And they have a few uh, debutantes out there as well as we wait for the, uh, I think, uh, is uh, Turanga Nui Akiwa going to do a haka? Looks like it. Turanga Nui Akiwa, Poverty Bay laying down the challenge whanau. We'll just add that uh, Turanga Nui Akiwa in the front <laughs> of their name. Aye, aye. Yoda. It's all right. Looks good, right, that haka. Your blue-eyed commentary team up here today, Farno. <laughs> totally biased. <laughs> <laughs> and not unashamed about it at all. I believe, uh, if I'm right, somebody might correct me on Facebook, but I believe this huckle was uh, composed by uh, Derek Lardelli for the uh, Poverty Bay rugby team. Looks pretty mean. Got a signature on it. I'd be tired just doing the haka. It's an yeah. uh, awkward pause out there, Kes. He's actually waiting for Ngāti Pro to start off then. And here comes the reply. Goes with the few of the older players heading out there to join in. Challenge. We're not far away from kickoff in this uh, preseason match between Ngāti Pro and Poverty Bay, celebrating 100 years of Ngāti Pro East Coast rugby. And wasn't that a challenge laid down by the boys in blue, uh, Go? Certainly was for both teams, actually, and they've just swapped the jerseys. The captains have swapped uh, jerseys. 
And Remember great to see that the Jesus. referees today are local refs. Uh, I've been, yep. uh, you know, as a uh, former ref of Knights Blue East Coast, I was always pushing for us to be allowed to referee these games. So great to see Mr. Jackson Swinton. We'll get the whistle out there in the middle. Big yeah. job on his shoulders today. Yep, and the sideline there, Edueta Kafia and Melvin Ashford. Knights Blue Holko. And a as I said earlier we wouldn't be able to keep you connected to this game without their support so if you are watching our Facebook feed don't forget to pop up a comment tell us where in the world you are watching us from we'd love to see where we can connect our whanau connecting you to Whakarua Park today for this big game and the kickoff is going to be oh no uh Ngāti Pro was going to do the kickoff but now it's uh, changed in the Pauri Bay will kick off. Not sure what happened there. They usually do the toss in that well before the uh, kickoff. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to get underway here, Farno. It'll be uh, Jake Holmes kicking off for Poverty Bay. Uh, referee Jackson Swinton controlling this one out there in the middle. And as we, uh, Kahu said, the uh, Mr. Edouard Akafia and Mr. Melvin Ashford assisting him on the sidelines. Big crowd here at Whakarua Park for this one. Yes, and about to start the most exciting game of the season. Referee says time on. We're into it. Holmes kicks it down. It's uh, taken nicely there by Nati Pro and they get the ball up to Tim Moana. Park's in there. Out quickly to Hairawa. Hairawa, long pass out wide. Oh, and it's uh, just gone through the hands there of Portai. Referee's got a penalty. Up again, up offside against Poverty Bay. Gee, that was a huge pass from Nehe. Nehe huge pass. I didn't recognize who, who the passer was. <laughs> Yellow I'll, boots. <laughs> I'll pick him out this time. <laughs> It'll be Tirangi Fraser with the uh, opportunity to look for touch here. He sends it uh, just shy of the 10 metre line inside Poverty Bay territory. Eight metres inside Poverty Bay's uh, half. First line out coming here for Ngāti Pro East Coast. Jody Tuhaka to feed the line out. Yep. Five man line out, short line out. Referee just getting to the back now. Wants a clear gap. Short line out called here from Ngāti Pro East Coast. Five man line. Paddy Allen goes high at the front. The drive comes on. Nati Pro get in there. Richie Green got the ball at the back of the mall here. They're driving it forward. Over the halfway they go. Someone's headgear is being pulled off. Nati Pro driving forward here. This reminds you of the old uh, forward drives of old. As Sammy Parks pulls it out now, looking for a runner. He's got uh, Porto. Porto gives it up to Fraser. Fraser will go under the post. First try to Nazi Pro East Coast. Well worked off the line out there, oh. off that beautiful line out drive. Go. Oh, that was it. That was it. Those tight five got in there and um, man just controlled that pull and gave a nice forward going pull to those backs. There was, seemed to be plenty of room out there when Parks got it. That line out drive created the gap, I think. Yep. It sucked a couple of those defenders in. And when Sammy Parks come off the back of that uh, wall, I didn't even think he could believe it there. All he had to do was draw in the first five and give it to Taina Portai in the gap. Nice strong run there from Portai oh, yes. and Terangi Fraser finishing it off with a beautiful run under the post. Converted there by, uh, is that Sammy Parks taking yeah, the kick? Sammy Parks. 7 0. 7 0, uh, Farno. That's the, lead. that's the start that every Ngati Pro East Coast supporter wanted. And of course, a big mihi to all our ex-players out there watching in Facebook land. We wish you were here. As uh, Holmes gets us underway again. Paddy Allen takes it again. Oh, and he's hitting a good tackle and the ball's lost forward there, I think. Referee picks it up. Oh, great tackle from uh, one of those uh, Poverty Bay forwards. It was a, yeah, strong tackle there. As soon Pat as he touched the ground. Bang. Yeah, legal tackle. 
So first scrum here, we get to have a look at the first scrum. This one here is about five metres uh, shy of Knights Blue East Coast 22. About eight metres in from that far side of the field. An attacking opportunity here for Poverty Bay. A scrum down, and it'll be Broughton, Ra Broughton to feed the scrum. First scrum, bit of a shunt coming from Ooh. Nati Pro, but the referee says it's early. Free kick here to Poverty Bay. Push and shove going on there. The captain's got involved. Yes, oh no, Honey um, thought that That's his he cousin? was a quick tap. That's his cousin. <laughs> oh, he thought he took a quick tap. Yeah. Right, I got you. I was just wondering why he come flying in there. I thought it was just wanting to hug his cousin. <laughs> It'll be a uh, here free kick. Sorry, short arm penalty. No, he's extended it. It's a, it is a penalty. They'll be able to kick for touch. Holmes, I think it will be. No, they're going to tap it as a short arm. Taken up there by the number five for Poverty Bait. That's Dan Law. They set it up just outside the 22. Broughton in there. He sends it wide. He's in there again, Broughton, as they set it up. They give it up to, I think that's uh, young Pihi Tefili, who's come off his wing. Referee's got a penalty against Nati Pro. I'm not sure what that call is, that signal there, Kahu. Not rolling away? Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, Folder. But I know that Poldy Bay will be wanting to strike back after that early try from Nati Pro East Coast, 7 0. Toa Tavalu there pushes that uh, penalty into the corner. It'll be an attacking line out coming here for Poverty Bay. First time in the 22 for Poverty Bay, 7 0 if you've just joined us. Nati Pro East Coast with that early try to Tarangi Fraser. Ricky Tedekia with the throw. Full line out here for Poverty Bay. They go high, it's, it's messy. Might have been picked up here by Nati Pro. Little knock on in there from Richie Green, I think, says the referee. Yeah, I thought that went backwards, actually. It'll be a Poverty Bay attacking scrum. What's that? About uh, 15 out from the uh, East Coast line. Another scrum coming. I think that's uh, is that Jody Tuhaka. It just might be the laces or the. He gets back to his feet now. That's the, uh, they set the scrum up now. Poverty Bay scrum feed. About 15 metres, well, they are 15 metres. They're on the 15 metre line from that far touch line. Scrum down. Ra brought in to feed the scrum. The referee's not happy with the set. They'll blow it up. And you can see that Andrew Toa Tavalu, the fullback for Poverty Bay, has come into the back line, Kaz, and they've uh, pulled uh, Nehef, oh, sorry, um, Tepehi fairly across from the blindside wing. Yes, interesting. All the backs on the one side. Scrum down again. And he'll probably go blind. It's uh, Rob Broughton just waiting for the scrum to settle. Ball in. Big shunt coming from his popped out the back there. Rob Broughton does well to contain that one. Picked up here by uh, the number eight for Poverty Bay. That's Reedy. Broughton goes for the no. That's not Broughton. That's oh, that is Broughton. Little dab there gets a nice pass away to uh, Hubbard. I think that was no to Leaf. Quick hands out wide. Uh, that's uh, Toru Nono wearing the number 17 jersey, charging up to the five meter line now. They pick and go again. Try. That's the big number one, Nehe Papuni, and he gets the first try for Poverty Bay. Yes, good try from Poverty Bay, and uh, geez, it came from a scrum that was going backwards as well. But was, they, uh, you they know, did well to tidy that up. Yeah. Kaz, it was messy uh, right from the ball popping out the back of that uh, ruck, and Rob Broughton didn't he do well to tidy that up? Strong young halfback that uh, Rob Broughton plays for the Waikahu Club. Yep, so Poverty Bay about to level Even it, the I think. Uh, should uh, Andrew Toa Tavalu be successful with this kick? He's lining it up. He's about, uh, what's that, about 10 metres to this near side of the post. About uh, 17 out from the line. He's lining it up. 
comes in and he strikes. Locked up here at Whakarua Park, 7 all whānau. It'll be a Ngāti Pro restart back at the halfway. Good tries, good tries uh, from both teams. All locked up at 7 all. Early try there from uh, Ngāti Pro East Coast was a great try from a line out and this one from a scrum for Poverty Bay. Tarangi Fraser about to get us back underway. He's having a word to his forwards to stay behind the kick as he puts it up deep and high. Back deep into the 22. Goes back to Holmes now. Holmes puts the left foot to it. Guides it into touch. Just waiting for the flag on the Poverty Bay 10 metre line on the grandstand side of the field. It'll be a Ngāti Pro East Coast uh, line out throw. Short line out called again. Five man line out for Ngāti Pro. Paddy Allen and Hone Haida with the jumpers in there. Two Haka with the throw. They go to Paddy Allen at the front, takes it down cleanly. Sammy Parks feeds it back to Two Haka. Two Haka, he's got uh, the number seven there. That's uh, Bollingford hitting it up out to Paddy Allen. He takes it into contact, turning his back, and there's uh, might have been an injury there to Two Haka as it goes out to Fraser. Fraser wide to Scudder. Scudder, Milner Scudder with a little chip through. Chases are coming, and oh, and it just beats Mayana over the sideline. Referee coming back, though, no advantage. Offside against Poverty Bay. Oh, good moves from the Sky Blues there. A nice little chip there from Nehe. Pity that one didn't stay in. Yeah, there was, was nobody back there. Mehana steaming down the mm. sideline after it. And great to see uh, young Tipene yeah. rewarded with a, with a cap today. He's uh, been having a good season for uh, Uawa. Tarangi Fraser to look for the sideline on their far side of the field. Into the 22 for this next line out. Of course, tip in there and with the uh, second chance Charlie program that's happening at the yeah, moment. Yeah, throw him a vote if you yeah. uh, if you want fun. Uh, you might help him win uh, 15 grand and a chance to train with his idols, the Hurricanes. Line out, attacking line out here for Nazi Pro. They call them all in full line out here. And uh, Jody Tuhaka is shaking off that little injury. Full line out here for Nazi Pro. Tuhaka with the throw. They go to the back and that's. Lost forward there. Luckily for Nazi Pro, it was an overthrow. And the number seven there, I think that's uh, Fawn White. Just uh, losing it forward at the back of the line out. So luckily for Nazi Pro, they'll come away with a scrum. Nice place to have a scrum too. About, uh, about 15 metres out from uh, the Poverty Bay try line and 50 metres in from touch. Bit of a blind there. Taina yeah. Porta is sitting right in the pocket behind the scrum. Big scrum here needed by the coast to give them a good platform to attack off. Milner Scudder up in the back line here as they drive it forward. Comes out now for Parks. He gives it up to Portai. Portai goes flying into the contact from uh, Holmes. He does well to catch him. Hone Haidawa at first receiver. He steps. Beats the tackle of White. Gets to his feet now. Parks in there looking for the ball. Oh, and it's a uh, knock on. I don't think... Uh, Young uh, Sammy Martinger was expecting that one. He just wasn't quite ready for that. I think it was, uh, he, he, he just wasn't expecting it. I think he expected it to be held in a little bit longer. Unlucky yeah. there for Nazi Pro. Oh no, it's a knock on. It's a Nazi Pro ball. It must have been a, a Poverty Bay hand in there. No. Oh, oh no, Poverty sorry. Sorry. Sammy Parks is thinking it's uh, East Coast ball. And he fooled me. It's a Poverty Bay defensive scrum feed, about 15 out from the line, right out in the middle of the park. Rob Broughton will feed the scrum. Nehe Milner Scudder dropping right back deep for Ngāti Pro East Coast. Pressure coming from Ngāti Pro. Rob Broughton plucks it out now to Holmes. Holmes with the left foot, sends it, looking for the sideline. Finds it safely over there on the far side of the field. About seven metres shy of the halfway line. Yeah, just going for the safety there, Poverty Bay. I thought they might try the raking kick downfield. There's no wind here, really. Yeah, yeah, it is, it was a little bit. If it is, it is uh, favouring Poverty Bay. 
Short line out again, call from Nati Pro. This one here, eight meters inside Poverty Bay's half. Referee just having a talk to them, make sure they're back 10 meters. They go to the middle to Hideaway, he plucks it down to Parks. Parks out now to Fraser. Fraser having a look for, that's uh, Tafal Stewart and Gap. Stewart looking for a winger. He's got Mayhana with him down the sideline. Oh, good tackle on the young fella there. Taking six metres out from the line. Parks is there. Out to Fraser. Fraser looking for a runner. He's got, that's Bollingford. Parks, quick ball again. Parks goes for a run off the base of the ruck. Little bit late there, the support, but they finally get there. Hideaway over the top. Hideaway is going to pick from the base of the ruck and go for a drive. Nati Pro, three metres out from the line here. Referee's got a penalty. Oh, just a little bit isolated. No, off your feet. Supporting players off their feet. Unlucky there for Nati Pro. Poverty Bay will get to clear this. Yeah, some good movement there from Nati Pro East Coast. Nice breakthrough nice there by Tafal Stewart Tafel in the midfield. Stewart, yeah. Uh, the TBC peering out there in the midfield of Tafal Stewart and Tutere Wainga. Mm. Beautiful ball there from Tedangi Fraser. Though. That helped put Tafal away. As this line out here, midway 10 metre 22 inside Poverty Bay Territory, down in front of the grandstand here. Short line out. It's lost forward there by Poverty Bay, taken by Tim Wainga at the back. Referee's going to say no advantage there. It'll be a Nati Pro East Coast scrum feed. And it doesn't look like that rain is going to stay away, Kahu. No, yeah, that rain's coming. It's uh, seven all if you've just joined us. Anybody all locked up here at Whakarua Park. Anybody down there on the sideline might be listening to us through the car radio. You might need to get your raincoat and your umbrella ready. We can definitely see the rain coming. Scrum down. Midway 10 metre 22 inside Poverty Bay Territory. 15 metres in from this Grand Sand side of touch. Sammy Parks with the scrum feed. He waits for the scrum to set. Ball in. Taken off the back by Haidawa. Haidawa up the middle. He's still just plucked down by uh, Fawn White. Sammy Park sends it wide out to Tarangi Fraser. He steps back infield. Taken down just shy of the 22 line here. Parksy looking for the ball again. Referee's got no advantage. Coming back for the penalty. High tackle, I think, that one on Parksy. High tackle on Sammy Parks. Nice break off the back of the scrum there by Hone Haidawa. This one here, just outside the 22, Nati Pro are going to go for the line out. I'm going to push it into the corner here, turning down a shot at goal. Tarangi Fraser. This will be a five metre attacking line out. Short line out too. I thought they might have pulled them all in for this one. Six man, no, five man line out. Well, it's worked so far. Two Hucker with the throw, they go to Hideaway in the middle. Now they bring him down. Sammy Parks having a look for a runner. He's got Two Hucker with him. Two Hucker taken down on the five metre line. Pick and go here from uh, the number one, that's Perrin Manuel. They're driving again towards the line here. Nati Pro keeping it in the forward pack. Paddy Allen calling for the ball. The defense is up quickly on him. Another pick and go here from the Nati Pro forward pack. Sammy Parks having a quick out to Tarangi Fraser. He'll oh. go in again. Tarangi Fraser with a beautiful little step there. And he puts another five pointer on the board. Great spotting. All the work done by the forwards, of course. Some nice work done in there by the forward pack. Muscling up. And they're rewarded by that uh, turning down earlier of that penalty kick at goal, Kaz. They, they took the line-out option. Yeah, and it's worked. Uh, Gatsupro have scored, so now they lead 12 points to 7. Kick to come. Sammy Parks with the kicking duties. This one here, he's about, what's that, 8 metres in from this near side of touch, just inside the 22. Some beautiful work there by the Ngātipano East Coast forward pack muscling up to get closer to the line and nice swing and play there from Sammy Parks to bring it blind and Tarangi Fraser just using that skill and ability he has. That one there, will it kill him? Oh. No! 
Just off uh, the right just hand, out, upright. Just outside the post there from, from Sammy Parks. Score remains 12 7. For a team that's, uh, you know, been struggling to all get together and train. Showed a little bit there when um, Jody forgot to come around uh, <laughs> after he threw the ball. They might have just put that move together <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. As uh, Jake Holmes about to get us back underway again. Sends it high. Paddy Allen looking to get under it again. He takes it high and the player at the same time. Referees his play on. As uh, Ra Broughton digs the ball out, gets it out to Toru Nono. He's hitting a, a big tackle in the midfield. Broughton brings it out now to Leaf. Leaf sending it wide to Holmes. And it's come off the head of uh, an East Coast player and it's gone back over the halfway. Little uh, midfielder there, Hubbard. And it's Toa Tavalu puts a little chip in. Sammy Parks takes it, gives it out wide to Scudder now. Scudder coming back around this near side. Shows the dummy. It's a t penalty coming. Dangerous tackle, I oh, think, that one, Cass. tackle, trying to flip uh, Mehe on his head. Not releasing him. That was Ra Broughton in there, grabbing him by the legs and uh, causing that tip-type tackle. Oh, he's a tough halfback, isn't he, that uh, Ra Broughton? He, uh, this, uh, this opportunity here for Tarangi Fraser to push it down this near sideline. Sends it. Is it going to find touch? Yes, touch is going to be midway, 10 metre, 22 inside Poverty Bay Territory on this near side of the park. Another short line out coming here for Nati Pro. Five man line out, two huckle with the throw. They go to Heidel in the middle again. Referee says not straight. That was a bit harsh, but this was my blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, a little bit off centre. It'll be a scrum feed here for Poverty Bay. And as we uh, spotted Kaz, the old uh, precip precipitation has yep, arrived. Yep. You know, wet stuff falling from the sky, likely at the moment, thankfully. Scrum down. Five metres inside, uh, or 15 metres inside Poverty Bay half. Right out on the 15 metre line. Broughton puts the ball in. Nati Pro seem to have the pressure on at the scrum time. Comes up now to Leaf. Leaf into Fraser. They take him down on the 10 metre line. Quick ball from Broughton out to Holmes. Oh, Ooh. nice step there from the uh, right winger. He's got support with him, but it's thrown out to uh, an East Coast player. Toa Tavalu there. He was in support. Sammy Parks getting back there now. Comes out now to... That's Bollingford. A couple of metres outside. Nights Pro East Coast uh, 22 as Sammy Parks puts a little box kick in. Back there is Holmes, I think. Jake Holmes sends it wide to the left winger. He's got uh, Tedeke out on the right wing. He's taken into touch. Midway 10 metre 22 inside Nazi Pro territory, but there's a forward pass the referee has seen. Come back for a scrum. Nine metres shy of the halfway line inside Nazi Pro territory. It's a good tussle going on out there. Good Kaza. tussle. 12 points to 7 if you've just joined us. Gati Pro East Coast uh, leading in this game. We're about probably 20 to 30 minutes in, eh, Paul? Uh, 21 minutes gone on my watch. There you go. As a uh, scrum down, Knights Pro East Coast feed about 8 metres in from this near side of touch, the grandstand side of the field here at Whakarua Park. All our listeners out there. Sammy Parks feeds the scrum. Stolid scrum as Haidawa takes it off the back. He gives it up to Parks. Parks does well. He sends it back. It's messy, but... Tarangi Fraser back there. He's going, oh, he throws the dummy, does Fraser, steps past one. Little knock on in there, says the referee. He looked like he was going to put the kick uh, boot to it, Kaz, but changed his mind at the last minute. That was a sort of a ball going backwards, wasn't it? I mean, uh, right at the uh, ankles. Midfield scrum coming here for Poverty Bay, about 11 metres inside Ngāti Pro territory. Right out in the middle of the park. Big blind here for them. And they've left uh, young Tepehi Feely out there on the left wing this time. This uh, right winger, Andrew McLellan, he's, 
There's not much to him, but he does well out there on that right <laughs> wing for Poverty Bay, doesn't he? Out of the back of the scrum come Poverty Bay. Oh, nice dummy run there from Reedy. Support slow to get there. Counter ruck coming from the coast, but uh, just losing their feet there was uh, Taufal Stewart. Gee, great effort. Yeah, Stewart there. just unlucky he lost his feet, otherwise he would have had all rights to the ball. This one right out in front of the post here. They're going to go for the sideline, I think. Toa Tavalu with the ball in hand. He's going to go for the touch from that far side of the park. Boots it into the corner. Is an attacking line out coming for Poverty Bay. About seven metres out from Knights Pro corner flag. Cross on that far side of the field. Just watching the forwards. Looks like a full line out coming. No, short line out for Poverty Bay. They drop a couple of Lucy's out into the backs. They go high through the uh, number five law. They hold it in. And uh, Poverty Bay have joined this, the, the, the mall before the ref called it over. The referee missed that one. They come off the back from Broughton, gives it up to Leaf. Leaf taken down on the five meter line. Quick hands out to Fawn White. Taking in a good tackle there from Richie Green. Green over the top of the ball, but Broughton picks it up again. He gives it up to Fairley. Poverty Bay right on the five meter line here in front of the post. They got numbers either side here. They go back to uh, the open side, right on the line. They pick and go again. Can they get it down? Try under the post there. And I think it's the big number one. He gets a double. Nehe Papuni. Under what a the great post. Try. Great try there from uh, Poverty Bay. Great work by the forwards. That short line out, they fooled them with a drive in there. I think they got away with them joining the line out before it was over, though. Just a little bit offside, but uh, that's the blue eyed commentator coming <laughs> out. Yeah, and this uh, conversion will tie things up again. Toa Tavalu, no, I think it'll put oh, them into no, the put, lead. Put them ahead. It'll put Actually. them ahead. 12 all at the moment. Toa Tavalu. The extra points attempt coming. Makes no uh, mistake about it. 14-12. Poverty Bay take the lead for the first time in the game. Aye, right, we're about 25 minutes into this uh, match here at Whakarua Park, Ruatoria. And uh, you are watching courtesy of Te Runanga Nui on Ngāti Pro and Ngāti Pro Hold Co Limited. Kia ora to them. Yes, a big mihi to our sponsors. And if you see them around, say thank you. <laughs> you wouldn't be watching or listening if we didn't have sponsors that keep us connected. So big mihi to our sponsors. About to get back underway here with uh, Te Rangi Fraser. Restarting the game for uh, Ngāti Pro East Coast. He sends it high. They take it just outside the 22 there through uh, Jesse Carpenter. Midway, 10 metre, 22 now. They go open. Broughton gives it up to Noa Noa. Penalty here against Poverty Bay. Not releasing the ball there. I think that was Paddy Allen over the top of the ball. No, that was Richie Green. Having a great game, Richie Green. And it's a shot at goal here for Ngāti Pro. Sammy Parks has signalled a shot at goal. Penalty attempt here from about, what's that, 36, 37 out. It's a little surprising as uh, they had a penalty kick right out in front on the 22 <laughs> and they, <laughs> they decided to kick, kick it out for a line out. I think uh, this penalty will give the opportunity for the boys to just have a bit of a breather. She's been a frantic first half since kickoff as Park sends it high. Does it have the accuracy? Oh, Flags yes. go up. Nazi Pro East Coast back into the lead, 15-14. Beautiful kick there from Sammy Parks. Oh, he only took one step back, I think. It'll be uh, Jake Holmes coming back to get this game underway again. As the uh, wind is uh, definitely favouring Poverty Bay in this first half. He sends it high. 
Richie Green underneath it, takes it nicely. He's got the Poverty Bay player all over him, but he drives back towards his own 10 meter line. Sammy Parks brings it out now to Huni Hideaway. Nice quick uh, flick pass back to Milner Scudder, out wide to Bollingford, out to Mayhunter. Mayhunter gets taken over the sideline, just shy of the halfway line. It'll be a Poverty Bay line out. About two metres inside Nazi Pro East Coast Territory, right down in front of the grandstand here at Whakarua Park. And they might have to get some of that crowd off the field, Kaza. <laughs> it's part of the Coast Rugby, though, isn't it? The crowd on the sideline. That's for sure. Tenek here with the throw, and it's uh, been lost on the, pop on the Nazi Pro East Coast side. There'll be no advantage from that one. It'll be a Nazi Pro East Coast uh, scrum feed. And uh, just keep an eye on the scrums, Keza. Uh, I think I've just been noticing that... Nice Two metres inside uh, Nights Pro's territory. So what does that mean in scrum talk, the, the tidies going forward? Or? <laughs> yeah, that, that's, a, a that's, a different, that's a different language, that front row talk, Keza. <laughs> as uh, Sammy Parks about to feed the scrum. Comes to the back. He's got gone backwards. A little knock on in there from Broughton. Referee says play on though as Parks breaks up the middle. Sammy Parks gets the ball away. Oh, and it's uh, just knocked on there by Tarangi Fraser. Play on, says the referee. Advantage here to Poverty Bay. No advantage. They'll come back for the uh, knock on there. Yeah, that little uh, that little flick from Sam Parks, just a little bit hard and a little bit high. I think Terangi was gone if that had gone to hand. But never mind. It'll be scrum down here. This one here, right out in the middle of the park. About 14 metres inside Poverty Bay territory. What a great game. 15 points to 14. Gatipuru East Coast leading. We'd expect nothing less from these two teams, Keza, yeah. as they battle it out. And we're only in the first half. Rob Broughton about to feed this midfield scrum. They split the back line here to Poverty Bay. Referee not happy with the set. He'll blow it up. We'll have a reset for this scrum. That front row of Perrin Manuel, uh, Tuhaka and uh, Martinga. Pretty solid up front for Nati Pro. Matching up against uh, Toru Noonua. Nehepa Puni and Ricky Tedeke up the front row of Poverty Bay. Great battle going on there. Split back line as we wait for the scrum to set. Ra Broughton is having a look around. These options ball in. Referee's got a penalty here against Poverty Bay. That'll be against uh, Nehepa Puni, I think, on the angle, says the referee. Or oh, angling. Again, it's a. Uh, it's not my uh, big... Uh, what sort of terminology is that? Yeah, Paul? yeah, that front row talk, man. It's just <laughs> it's a special club, that front row club, Gaza. They talk uh, in three, three syllable words and grunts. and <laughs> <laughs> Sammy Parks with the uh, attempted uh, penalty shot here. Right out in front of the post. What's that? About 47? 37, sorry. Oh, no. One step back. One and a half steps back. He's... Kicks it, doesn't have the accuracy. What yes. another beautiful kick there. He doesn't muck around, does he? Extending the lead out to 18-14 with that successful uh, penalty shot there from Sammy Parks. The one step, man. One and a half steps backwards. I suppose that gets the accuracy, eh? Yeah, probably leaving his least amount of uh, opportunity to do something wrong. Just one <laughs> and a half steps, bang. <laughs> Jake Holmes about to get us underway again. Sends it high. He's been kicking off to that same spot as uh, this time Paddy Allen gets it. He goes to ground. Sammy Parks looking in there for the ball now. Comes out to Hone Haidoa at first receiver. He takes it into contact. Beats the first tackle. Still charging forward. Goes Haidoa. Parks comes out now to Milner Scudder at first receiver. Quick hands out to Stewart. Stewart stands on his feet. He goes to ground now. Referee's got uh, hands in the ruck there, I think, against Fawn White. The ruck had formed. I thought I saw a sneaky hand coming in. 
Boy. Apologies to all our yeah. Poverty Bay uh, uh, viewers out there that may be viewing this game and the old commentator's blue eyes just keep uh, <laughs> coming into the commentary. As uh, Terangi Fraser will look to push this down the sideline. Successful uh, touch finder there. Takes play 14 metres inside Poverty Bay Territory. Down here in front of the grandstand at Whakarua Park. She's still a tight tussle. 18-14 with uh, about 33 minutes gone on my clock. We're counting down towards the uh, end of the first half. We're hoping Ngāti Pro keep the lead because they'll turn with the wind in the second half if you're a Ngāti Pro East Coast supporter. They go to the back and Haidawa takes it cleanly at the back. They hold it in though. Again, looks like the attacking team got away with players joining the ruck, uh, the mall before it was over. Out now to Fraser. Fraser long pass out to Milner Scudder. He had to wait for that one. Puts a little grubber kick through. Beautiful grubber kick bouncing right back to the five meter. And the Poverty Bay winger back there, uh, McLellan. Looks for touch, he doesn't find it. Comes back to Tirangi Fraser. Tirangi Fraser goes back down the blind. He's got the uh, Wainga with him. He doesn't need him. Fraser putting the little chip in. Oh, Ooh. nice hands there by the Poverty Bay uh, number 12. Jacob Leaf to stop that uh, little grubber kick going through. Tirangi Fraser showing some silky smooth skills down that blind side. Isn't he? A nice, uh, nice chip there. Attacking line out coming here for Nati Pro. They're six, seven meters out from the corner. Short line out again. Jody Tuhaka with the ball. They look for. That was Patty Allen. Patty they Allen. get the drive on. They go to ground. Everyone in there now as they drive again with Tuhaka at the front. Couple of meters out here, Nati Pro as the forwards get in there, it comes out wide. They get over the top of it again. Pick and go again from Nati Pro, right on the line. Can they get it over? What's the ref say? Held up, I think. Held up is the oh, call. Held up. 18 14, Nati Pro East Coast lead, Poverty Bay. Getting close to the end of the first half. It'll be an attacking scrum feed here for Nati Pro East Coast. Five meter scrum feed. Bit of a blind here with Taina Portai out on that far wing. Should Hone Hairawa want to go blind? Actually, I'd like to see him go blind. Keza, he's been uh, quite fast off the back of that scrum today. He's been beating his opposition when he comes off the back of the scrum. Our scrum's been... Um, Wielding the wrong way, though, for that sort of thing. Much better to come open. Sammy Parks to feed the scrum. They're going to keep it in here. They're going to shunt the ball oh, forward. Only Heidema with the ball at his feet. It's been kicked through here. Referee's got a penalty. Oh, he might have been thinking twice about a penalty try there. Mm. It didn't look far away from the line. Another scrum. Referee's going to have a word to the captains. Probably too many referees out there. <laughs> can hear a bit of refereeing from up here. Sammy Park's coming off. He got a bit of a head knock, I think. What's he looking for? Mouth guard. He lost his mouth guard. Well, I think that's the call. That's what he just said to the sideline. Right. Got to find him another one. Put a bit of tape in there. Put an orange in there to <laughs> fool the ref. Another attacking scrum coming here for Nights Pro East Coast, five metres out from Poverty Bay line. Counting down to half time here with about three minutes to go. Coverage kind of brought to you by Nights Pro Hold Code, Tarunanga Nui or Nights Pro. 18 14, Nights Pro East Coast with the lead. She's been a tough battle in this first half. That last scrum was a pretty solid scrum, and it was straight too, so they may look to keep it in again and look for the pushover. I had been picking that Nati Pro just got an upper hand in the scrums. Just waiting for the scrum to set here. Sammy Parks will feed the scrum. Nehem Milner Scudder standing out on the blind. Wouldn't it be great to see him score a debut try as they keep it in the back here. They break off the back as a uh, Hairua. It's messy. 
Oh. Knock on in there from Poverty Bay first. Rob Broughton doing well there to interrupt that move off the back of the scrum. This one here, yeah. it'll be another attacking scrum, but a bit further back this time, about six or seven, might be eight metres away from the line. And that blind side has been narrowed. As uh, wait for the scrum to set here. I thought they were going to keep it in the back again, Kaz, but they all broke blind. Yeah, bit of a planned move, eh? I think uh, Horty had it uh, slipped a little bit. Scrum, put things out. Scrum down. Referee calls them in. Sammy Parks about to feed the scrum. They keep it in. Horny Haida were keeping it at the back of the scrum here. The scrum's twisting. It's popped out. A little bit of a knock-on for from Nati Pro. Referee will play the advantage. The line out. Yep, still time. A couple of minutes to go before half time. Nati Pro lead 18-14. As we see Tom Anui Tara coming back out again. Thank you. Nice and warm with that sun on the back. And it's a short line out here for Nati Pro East Coast. About 15 out from their corner flag. Two hucker with the throw. They go to Hideaway at the back. He takes it cleanly. Brings it down to Parks. Out to Fraser now. Fraser out to Stewart. Stewart takes it into contact. Sammy Parks goes back the other way now to... There's a wrap around. Sammy Parks throws a long pass out to Porto. Porto is stepping back infield. Porto Well worked there, Kazza. That was a great move, eh? Yeah, even for Excellent. me. Excellent. Beautifully worked move there from Nazi Pelo. They fooled everyone by coming open. And a beautiful wrap. Sammy Parks wrapping around Paddy Allen. And a long pass out wide to catch Taina Porta in the open. Steps inside his winger. And comes around to make it a bit easier for Sammy Parks' conversion attempt. He's having a great season as uh, young Taina Porta. Yeah, Tukararangi midfielder, winger. Uh, and uh, what a great run that was. Nazi Pro extend their lead. As uh, Sammy Parks lines this one up, he's 15 in from that far touch, about a metre inside the 22. One and a half steps again, guess. <laughs> and Just away oh. in front of the post, and that's half-time whānau as Nazi Pro take 23. the lead. 23-14. They'll head into the changing rooms. I think we've got a few messages from our sponsors at half time we'll be back with you shortly with the second half Oh, East Coast breeders, respect and tough music. Love the vibe. Good oh. vibes.
Home is our inspiration, where we're from. That's how we sort of write, write around what we've been through, and all that sort of stuff, eh? all our experiences, and what happens now with the young people and all what not, awesome. especially for our families. Eh? Uh, so that leads me on to my next question. So how big an influence does being from the East Coast uh, play on your music? Well, that's where we started. Eh? That's what made us to be who we are now. Really, the yeah, home is, has a big impact on our music. Kia ora, ko Kevin Pipairangi Awo from Porota Pharmacy. He te mōhi o Awo kei a koutou te tikanga. I know that you have a choice whether to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Make your decision with your whānau, hapu and iwi in mind. Our people are my reason. So who is your reason? Ko wai tō take. For more information on the COVID-19 vaccination and how you can get vaccinated, make an appointment with your local GP or visit hauorataitapiti.org.nz. Kia ora, ko Kiriana Kingi Nepe tōku ingoa. As a doctor at Hauora Tairawhiti, I know full well the importance of getting both doses and being fully vaccinated for COVID-19. A lot of my patients here in Te Tairawhiti are kaumātua, and our komatoa are among the most vulnerable to COVID-19 infection. I'm getting the vaccine to protect me and them. So, who is your reason? Ko wai tō take. For more information on the COVID-19 vaccination and how you can get vaccinated, make an appointment with your local GP or visit hauorataitapiti.org.nz. Kia ora whanau. welcome back to your coverage of this uh Queen's birthday clash between Ngāti Pro East Coast and Poverty Bay, celebrating 100 years of Ngāti Pro East Coast rugby. Kaza, what a great first half. Oh, what a spectacular first half. Uh, the boys of Sky Blue scored early with a limited great try, but uh, Poverty Bay came back as well, and the, the sort of seesawed from there. At the moment, uh, the boys leading 23 points to 14. Ngāti Pro East Coast uh, leading Poverty Bay. The boys are doing really well because, uh, you know, with these Queen's Birthday clashes, we always anticipate Poverty Bay to have the jump on us. With them uh, all being based in town and being able to get their boys to uh, uh, trainings a lot easier than ours. So great yep. to see our boys are uh, in, the, in the fight. And, uh, and I say that the inclusion of uh, Nehe has helped uh, lift them as well. Yes, and a few other players in there as well. But uh, I think the locals are, are sort of standing out as well. Oh, uh, Honey Haida was having a great game. Uh, Taina Portai, um, Richie Green. Yeah, even Sammy Parks, the distribution Sammy there. Parks. And then, of course, uh, Terangi Fraser leading them from first five. Um, two tries already. Yeah, that's right. He's got a great step on it, but a turn of pace there too. Yeah, so uh, we're not far away from uh, recommencing the game, Farno. Just waiting for the teams to come out from their changing rooms. But 23-14. If you've just joined us, Knights Pro East Coast uh, lead Poverty Bay and uh, Poverty Bay did get into the front there in that uh, first half, Kaz, and, you mm. know, as we knew, they'd fight back. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you know, uh, Poverty Bay is a team, and they and they they like to bring it into their forwards and just roll it up, don't they? And and keep it close to their forwards, and they scored, I think, a couple of their tries were from the prop. Yeah, he scored two. <laughs> Nehe Papuni on debut, he's uh, picked up two. Uh, and, and didn't he uh, celebrate that second one with a bit of vigor? <laughs> <laughs> Slamming the ball down in front of his Ngāti Pro East Coast cousins. But uh, yeah, Ngāti Pro East Coast, big lead here. Well, not big, 23-14 over Poverty Bay. And uh, for me, the, the, the forwards have been going really well. Kaz laying a good platform. They've stuck to uh, short line outs all day. And it's and it sort of worked for them. They had just had one that uh, was called not straight by the referee, but they've won all the lineouts, which is great. And the scrums. And the scrums. Uh, as I said uh, in the commentary, uh, I I feel they have a slight upper hand in the scrums. We'll see if Poverty Bay makes any changes in the second half to try and counter that. Yeah, I think uh, I think um, things will change a bit in the second half, but Ngati Pro will come in with the wind for the second half, and so that'll be a bit of an advantage for them. We've got a few legends down below us, Cass. East oh. Coast Knights Pro, East Coast legends. I see Nigel uh, Hinari was down there. There's uh, Boydie Donald. Boydie Donald, Casey Wano's uh, in the house. Joe McClutchy, super coach. <laughs> super coach. I'll say, yeah. I just missed out on his era. I think my 97 was my last game. We're just waiting for the, uh, there he goes. There's the whistle from Mr. Swinton, who's having a good game as well. He is. He's uh, doing for well. me, this is the first time Ngāti Pro uh, officials have been given a chance to ref this game. So great to see uh, Mr. Swinton out there having a good game. Very Namoko as well. And it, uh, we're just waiting for the teams to come out here. Farno, as uh, the kids are out there enjoying the halftime break. Let's hope the rain stays away. Here they come. And uh, Hone Hairua leading his team out onto the park again. And just keeping an eye on the jerseys as they make their way out. I don't see any clean ones coming out, Keza. Doesn't look like any changes. No changes so far. Might be one. So I see Jorian Tangaire making his way onto the park. He will be replacing Jody Tuhaka in the front row. Is he? No. No, he's just running across the other side of the park, is he? Yeah, he's just running across the other side of the park. Can you see Jody yep. out there? No, no, he is on. I can't see Jody, so there is one replacement for Knights Pro East Coast. Jory and Tangaire. He might want to do his headgear up. There he goes. Tarangi Fraser about to get us underway here, far note. And Knights Pro East Coast will have the advantage of the wind in the second half. This commentary kindly brought to you by Terunanga Nui o Ngati Pro and Ngati Pro Hold Co. Big mihi to our sponsors connecting our iwi no matter where you are in the world every weekend you can tune in and catch a bit of the hokainga with the rugby sponsorships Tarangi Fraser about to get us underway referee Swinton signals time on Fraser sends it deep that's McLellan back there he gets a throws a dummy gets around Portai still going comes back infield still going as the winger Portai gets him though comes back at him takes him down on the 10 meter line Broughton sends it out wide Bounces nicely there. Nice hands there from uh, Leaf. Gives it up to Hubbard now. Hubbard taking in a solid tackle uh, just over the 10 metre line. A little bit messy there from Reedy, but the referee says little knock on in there. Knock on from Poverty Bay. What a show of pace from the young winger uh, there. He Aaron looked like he, looked like he was going to pass it infield. And just a little slight dummy, and it opened up from around that sideline. There's not much of him, I tell you. Taylor Portai did well to hunt him down yeah. and catch him at the 10 meter line. Uh, scrum feed coming for Nati Pro. This one here, about 18 meters in from the grandstand side of the field, right on Poverty Bay's 10 meter line. The backs have all gone open, though, Keza. I noticed the uh, wingers have swapped places. Portai's come to the uh, right wing. He's coming in for first receiver is Portai. Straightens up on Holmes. Holmes does well with Broughton to hold him. Parks up now to Haidawa. Haidawa does well. He wasn't expecting that one. Sammy Parks gets in there again. He's got Paddy Allen at first receiver. Again, 
The pass looks a little bit low. Paddy Allen done well, though. Referee's got a penalty here against Nazi Pro holding on to the ball. Some nice work in there. I think Aye. it was Reedy. Good work from the Bay Fords. Toa Tavali will look for touch. It's going to go across their far side of the field, and it's uh, great to see Andrew uh, Toa Tavalu back in the Poverty Bay team. You might remember mm -hmm. the big accident in the, was it last year's game? No, the year before oh, over here. Right. He had that big accident yes. in the game. It's great to see there's no long-lasting effects from that. It was quite serious. Line-out coming here for Poverty Bay. Midway, 10 metre, 22 inside Nights Pro Territory. Cross on their far side of the field. They go high through Law. Brings it down to Broughton. Broughton now to Holmes. Looking for a runner. It's uh, bounced up in the midfield for Wainga. Wainga sends it out to Portai. A little knock on in there. Don't think he needed yeah. to throw there, Keza. No, no. It was a bit of a hospital pass. Tana got the ball and the man at the same time. Poverty Bay, just a couple of mishaps there in the midfield. It's twice it's happened now. I just want to tidy that up. Halfway, scrum on halfway, 16 metres in from the Grandstand side of the field. Brought in to feed the scrum. Pro leading 23 points to 14 over Poverty Bay. Scrum down. Brought in about to feed the scrum. Ball's in. The scrum is twisting. The referee's got a penalty against Poverty Bay, collapsing the scrum. Uh, I think uh, Ra Broughton was, uh, sorry, um, the Nehe Papuni was uh, celebrating like he got the penalty, but it was the other way around. As he walks back 10 metres and realises. You can go through that Poverty Bay team, Kaza, mm. and pick out all of the cousins who fuck up back to Nazi <laughs> Pro. I wasn't going to get into that front row stuff again. And uh, Fraser there pushing the play down the sideline with a successful uh, touch finder. Line out coming about a metre inside Poverty Base 22 on this grandstand side of the field. They go high to Haidawa, pulls it down in the middle of the line out up to tonight here. Long pass out wide to Bollingford. Bollingford beats one tackle, still going is Bollingford. Takes it down about 15 out from the line. Quick hands out wide. It misses uh, quite a few. Picked up there by Portai though. Portai takes it to ground. Sammy Parks looking for the ball now. He's got Fraser with him. Fraser throws the dummy. Gets the pass up to Bollingford. Bollingford to Green. Oh, Green does well to handle that ball. Five out from the line here. Now to blow on attack. No halfback. Parks, he gets there now. Out to uh, Stewart. Stewart going for a run. He takes it down, quick hands out wide. Oh, and it's bounced up for Mayhunter. He does well to get it back to Haidua. Haidua. Nice play, still with the ball here. Six out from the line. Advantage here from the referee. Penalty coming. Penalty against Poverty Bay. Offside, I think, is the call. This one here, about six out from the corner flag. What's the options here for Nazi Pro? I think they're going to go for the line out. Great skills here from Richie Green. Quick tap taken up to Hairua. Hone Hairua. Parks digs in now. Gives it up to, I think that was tonight. Eh? Parks, he's at his feet again. Out now to Fraser. Fraser going for a run. The defense is up on him. He gets the ground. No. Nope. It's ripped off him. Referee's got a penalty. Tackler's knee was on the ground, I think. It's a harsh yeah. rule, that one, Keza. The tackler yep. can never see the tackled player's knee on the ground and he's fighting for the ball. That's right. He, he ripped it out. Who was that? Uh, I think that was uh, one of the props. That was uh, Norno, I think. It was a good rip from him, but he was just a split second too late. Yeah, it's a harsh rule, but yeah. it is the rule. The knee hit the ground. And there's a, looks like a couple of reserves warming up. See Trent Prophet warming up on the sideline. Could be about to make his... Uh, Entry onto the park as we wait for the scrum to set. Six metres out from Poverty Bay's uh, line, more or less, right in front of the post. Yeah, will we see uh, Nehemuna's uh, step in Big action? blind here for Nati Pro. Split back line. 
scrum down. Referee not happy. Substitution coming. Profit coming onto the park. Who's he replacing? Juani Timuana. He's had a good game as uh, Juani Timuana. He's been uh, thrust into lock this time round. And a couple of more reserves coming on. Poverty Bay, big Jared Broughton getting out there. And I think that's Sade Scudder. Wearing, uh, we're going into hooker. And I think he takes over captaincy as well, does Scudder. Is that Terekia and uh, Nonoa that have come off? Or is that Papuni? Sorry. That's Papuni that's come off. Yep, Papuni's come off. Scrum down. And Terekia. Attacking scrum here for Nati Pro. They lead 23-13. Uh, no, 23-14. Get the threes and the fours in the right place, Boulder. Big scrum from Poverty Bay. Haidawa gets it out the back now. Comes out to Parks. Parks to Scala. Oh. To Scala. He gets his debut try, Kaza. We've been wanting it. Didn't even have to step. Just a beautiful pass from Sammy Parks. Put him in the gap. Some nice work off the back of the scrum there. It looked like it had been uh, stopped by Poverty Bay, but Sammy Parks able to put the ball in the gap and Nehe Milner Scudder running onto it. Another five pointer. And uh, Parksy might have done something. You see him limping there, Kaza. Yeah. Lucky he only He'll takes one and a half steps when he kicks the ball. Yeah, thankfully we've got a good replacement on the sideline there with uh, Hamuera Amorna, if need be. I'd say he's coming. He's uh, warming up. There's a few warming up. And Sammy Parks uh, looks to put the extra points on the board. It's a refined kicking skill. One and a half steps he takes, and oh, it's just a way Ooh. to the right of the post. Takes the score out to 28, though. 28 points to 14. Gatsbury's case is leading. And he's shaking off Bobby that limp Bay. as he runs back to his position. And Sammy, he fooled me. I thought he was limping. Just looking at the watch, about nine minutes gone in the second half, kindly brought to you by Terunanga Nui or Ngāti Pro. In conjunction with Ngāti Pro Holko as Holmes gets us underway. It's uh, been knocked on from a Ngāti Pro East Coast player. Referee still playing advantage here. Is no advantage. They'll go back for the uh, scrum feed here, 11 metres inside Ngāti Pro territory. Just want to keep an eye on the scrum... Here, Kaza. Let's <laughs> see who's gone into lock. I think Richie Green has gone into lock. Replaced uh, uh, Juani Timuana in the locking duo. And Trent Profit yes. has come yes. to the blind side. You're so right. Scrum down a metre inside, or 11 metres inside Nights Blue East Coast Territory. Five metres in from this grandstand side, a touch. Ra Broughton will have the scrum feed. Ball in. It's not moving. Hands in the ruck there, but it's come out. It comes up to Leaf. Jacob Leaf with a strong run. Taken uh, by uh, his opposite there, Tafal Stewart. They send it wide now to Law. It's the big lock ranging out wide. They come back to this open side. As, uh, they send it out wide, and it's uh, plucked in there by Toa Tavali. Throws a nice pass to, his, uh, to McLellan. He's... Nice run there from the winger, but there's he's out. Little knock on, I think. The referee's going back. No advantage in the midfield. There's a penalty coming here for Poverty Bay, right out in the middle of the park. Oh, okay. Offside, I think. Boy, look at the size of that number three. Jared Broughton. He's a big specimen. Plays for the Waikahu Club too. Here is a. Uh, Huge the same unit. size as that Tamaiti Williams that played for the Crusaders last night. Oh. Didn't he? Imagine seeing yeah. those two boys in the front row. Game over. <laughs> as Nornoa pushes it into touch on their far side of the field. An attacking line out coming here for Poverty Bay. <coughs> 28 me. points to 14. Ngatipuro East Coast leading uh, Poverty Bay. It'll be Scudder with the line out throw. About 15 out from Ngāti Pro East Coast corner flag. Cross on their far side of the field. They go high. Reedy pulls it down. They get the drive on here.
It's taking the ground though. Six out. Pick and go here from Poverty Bay. They're five out. Scudder getting over the top of the ball. He's taken down on the five meter line. Another pick and go here from Nornor. Quick hands out to Leaf. He runs into the ref. Referee's going to call a scrum. He had no option there. <laughs> There's a penalty though. He must have been. Oh, he was playing advantage. Referee was playing advantage. Yeah, second five there. Jacob Leaf, he was through too. If the ref didn't get in the road. 28-14. Penalty here on the five-meter line. Poverty Bay realizing they need some uh, points. They're going for the line out. They kick yep. it out. This one about some more subs coming. Is that Mario Council, number 20? Yep. He replaces Jake Holmes and Rob Broughton. Rob Broughton's had a great game today. There's another one, number 21. Who's that number 21, Gazza? Austin, Austin Brown. Brown. So Austin Brown going to first receiver. Line out, attacking line out here for Poverty Bay. Short line out called. And it's uh, over the top, picked up there by uh, young Mayhana. Nati Pro will clear this. Fraser sitting back in the pocket. He puts the boot to it, sends it down the sideline. Taken by McClellan though. Will he go for the quick one? He throws it to himself. Oh, he just gets past Fraser. Taken down midway, 10 meter, 22. Poverty Bay are there as Council bounces up kindly for Laws. I think that was Law. Council gets in there again. Out now to Hubbard. Or Hibbert. Hubbard. Taken down 11 meters inside Knights Blow territory. Back to Council. Up to the big man, Broughton. They go around his ankles, but he, he steps out of that one. <laughs> they keep coming blind through Leaf. Jacob Leaf into contact. They might have turned this over. They have. Oh, the advantage. Oh, the winning advantage there is uh, look like Scudder and Parksy breaking down the sideline. Referees. No, it's a penalty to Poverty Bay. Not releasing? Not releasing. I thought he was playing advantage to the coast there. It's those blue eyes getting in the way again. <laughs> well, he did have his arm. He was playing, up, up. he was uh, signaling towards yeah, the coast. He did have the right There's arm. There's Toa will look for touch down this near side of the park again. Poverty Bay with another attacking line out, about seven out from the corner flag. Right in front of all of their legends, Poverty Bay legends parked in the corner under the sponsor's tent. It'll be Scudder, full line out coming here from Poverty Bay. A few raindrops now. All the forwards are in. As the rain starts to come down here at Whakarua Park, they go to the front. That scammel that gets up for that. I mistook him for law before it's taken down, six out from the line. The forwards get over the top of this. There's a bit of pushing and shoving going on there as it comes up to Broughton. Broughton taken around the ankles by Tungai there, though. Referee's got advantage here for Poverty Bay. Oh, no. no. He was playing advantage. He was signaling the Poverty Bay side, but he found from the, is that from the side, I think. Not coming in the gate. Penalty. Knights East Coast will get to clear this one. Boy, that Richie Green's on fire today. He's hungry out there. As uh, Tarangi Fraser sends it down the sideline. Beautiful kick there, bringing play up towards the 10 meter. 10 meter line. A couple of meters shy of the 10 meter line down here in front of the grandstand. Short line out coming for Nati Pro. It's worked for them most of the day, Kaza, the short line out. Yep, five man. Tangaere with the throw. They go to the middle again, looking for Hairoa. Pulls it down. Little bit of a juggle there. They did well to get that to the back of the ball. Oh. Well, I thought they did well. Referee's got a little knock on in there. Yep. I didn't think it was a knock on, to be honest. We're not the refs, Gazer. We just have to leave Yeah, that's that right. One. As, uh, it'll be a Poverty Bay scrum coming. Twenty-eight points to fourteen. Ngati East Coast still leading. 
early in the second half. Scrum down about 14 metres inside Knights Blow territory. About 14 in from this near side of touch. Mario Council about to feed the scrum. Ball in. Scrum's twisting straight away, but they do well to get it to the back now. Council plucks it out. He gives it up to Leaf. Leaf, he's had a strong run all day as uh, the big number 12. Council gets in there. Quick ball out now to... That's the new man on the park, and luckily for him, referee was playing advantage. Yeah, went for the wipers that kick. Was Austin Brown, he went for the wipers kick, and he wiped it right behind his own <laughs> team. Penalty here, right out in the middle of the park. They'll and go needing, for the line now. Needing points, uh, I'd say Toa Tabali's going to push it to the sideline. This one here. About 12 metres out from Ngāti Pro corner flag. Short line out coming for Poverty Bay as they drop a couple of Lucys out into the midfield. Subs coming. A couple of subs coming on here. Uh, Keanu Tomata, number 19, number 18. you got uh, Austin Allen. Is that uh, Scammell that's coming off? Scammell the lock. So Justin Allen must be going into lock. And uh, that's Fawn White being replaced. Line out here as they go high and it's messy. Not straight, says the referee. It'll be a Nazi Pro East Coast uh, scrum feed. And it's probably just the little things that have been letting Poverty Bay down, Kaza. Yeah, they haven't quite got their line outs right all day and their scrums have been a bit shaky as well. And saying that, it's not over till that final whistle goes, Fano, 28-14. Exactly, early days. Coming up to the halfway mark in the second half. About 18 minutes gone in the second half, kindly brought to you by Ngāti Pro Holko and Te Runanganui on Ngāti Pro. Defensive scrum feed coming here for Ngāti Pro. 15 in from this near side of touch. About 15 out from their line. Referee not happy with the scrum, they'll set it again. As we wait for the reset. That, uh, I'm thinking since uh, Jared Broughton's come Jared on, Broughton. there's, a, there's a big weight on one side of the scrum, Kaza. That might be why it's twisting. <laughs> Jeez, a big unit. Well, what I'd like to know is weight. As uh, we wait for the scrum to set here. Sammy Parks to feed the scrum. Ball in. Mm, and then Poverty Bay do get the shunt on that yes. side. But it goes back deep to Tarangi Fraser now. He puts the boot to it. Sends it down the sideline. He'll bring play up towards uh, midway 10 meter 22. Still inside Knights Pro territory. Short line out coming with Poverty Bay. They've run past the mark. They're coming back now. Oh, even, even Poverty Bay thought it was further down. <laughs> Taken at the front there by Allen. Council throws the dummy. Oh, he oh. snakes through a little hold as Council. Little knock on, says the referee. A little bit of pushing and shoving coming there. Don't mess with Parksy, boy. Yeah, I wouldn't want to mess with that um, professional kickboxer. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing at halfback for Nazi Blow East Coast. He's won a few of his fights by knockout. We won't want that to happen here on the park. Won't be good for anyone involved. <laughs> Scrum down though, Knights Pro scrum feed. As we wait for Sammy Parks to feed the scrum. Right on the 22, about 10 meters in from this grandstand side of touch. 20 minutes, coming up to the 20 minute mark in this uh, second half. Ball in. Woo, big weight from Poverty Bay. Goes out wide to Fraser. Fraser back infield to Portai. Portai hitting a good tackle there by the number 19. That was, uh, I'll get you his name, that number 19, Keanu Tomata. Big hit, but the referee's got a penalty there. Yeah, unfortunately, Again, uh, off his feet. No, incorrect entry, he's saying, oh, okay. coming from the side. They've had a couple of those. As uh, Terangi Fraser will look for touch down the sideline, he'll kick to this grandstand side of the field. Uh -oh. 
We could be about to see some uh, more reserves coming on shortly. As a successful touch finder there from Fraser, he takes play into Poverty Bay territory. Coast haven't been in the Bay half for a while. And there is a change. Uh, Taina Portai switches with Josh Dearden. Great game there from Taina Portai. Josh Dearden. He moves on to the wing. Jory and Tangaere with the line out through. Just waiting for the referee. We've got a full line out. Yes. <laughs> Probably what the? for them, <laughs> You fellas should stick to what's working for you. Short line outs. Here we go. Full line out here from Nightsboro East Coast. They look for Honey Hideaway in the middle. Takes it down cleanly. Paddy Allen breaks down the blind. Paddy Allen gets it back to Tonighty. Tonighty finds his way to the deck. Parks he out now to Hideaway. He did well to get back up. Oh! Lock. Don there, it looked like a high tackle, but carry on, says the referee. Council digging in foot. No advantage there. Big shot there on Hone Hairoa. Yeah, just a bit of a loose carry, I think. It'll be a uh, scrum feed here for Poverty Bay. Nine metres inside their own half. 15, what's that, 15 and a half metres in from this near side of touch. We've got the... What's Danger that? man, council out there at halfback now. Boy. According to my watch, we've got about 17 minutes left in this game. Nice bro lead, 28-14. Council about to feed the scrum. Ball in. Ooh, it nearly was a tight head. He's popped out the back though. Reedy does oh. well to get that up to council. Council out to the new man on the park. That's uh, Brown. They set it up in the midfield. Off to Reedy. Reedy takes it into his opposite number. Tackles him on the 10 meter line. Out now to the number 18. That's uh, Tomata. Council digs it out again. Gives it to Nornor. Quick hands out wide. To Pehi Feely. He hasn't seen the ball much. He uh, nearly breaks out of the tackle of uh, Dearden. Over the sideline though. One of the danger men for uh, Poverty Bay is uh, to be Feely. Of course, he's also a coasty boy. He's worn, That's the, right. worn the sky blue jersey a number of times. Yeah, he hasn't seen much of the ball uh, this whole game, actually. And uh, yeah, we, we, all know, we all know to be Feely is a danger man. So it's, uh, they probably want to get him the ball. Laws does well to pluck that one down. Down the council. Oh, well done there by... Uh, Leaf to kick that one up. It's knocked on, though. Picked up by... Uh, oh, oh, oh. We thought they were playing advantage. The referees come right back here for a penalty to Poverty Bay. And the play is still going on in the background. Players uh, didn't hear the first whistle. I think it's coming back for a penalty here. Penalty against uh, Ngāti Pro East Coast. I'm not sure what that yeah, was for, Gazza. I'm not sure either. Maybe um, uh, it was a call from the sideline official. They'll look for touch here, I think. No, they're going to tap it. Are they? No. Austin Brown has got the kicking duties. He'll look for touch on this this near side of the park. I think no, he's giving it to Toa Tavalu. Andrew Toa Tavalu will look for touch. He looked to push them further down into uh, attacking territory. Beautiful kick. Takes play midway, 10 meter, 22. Mm -hmm. Actually, Green looks to be favoring uh, a leg out there. There's a bit of a change as uh, Collier gets out there for Nati Pro. It's Adrian Collier. He replaces uh, Perrin Manuel. And just as I talk about uh, Richie Green, he's replaced out there. And Bollingford as well. They've emptied the bench here of Nazi yeah. Pro. Awesome game uh, from Richie today. We've got uh, Hamwe to Baker out there as well for Sammy Parks. Hamwe to Moana, sorry. Let's get that right. Hamwe to Moana going into halfback. Got Adrian Collier gone into prop. Ricky Whitehall is out there as well, the beast from the east. <laughs> Just trying to pick Tani to 
Tomanui Nepier oh. is out there as well. Yeah, that definitely wasn't straight. Wasn't straight, but the referee says play on as Poverty Bay inch their way up towards the 22. Good defense here from Nati Pro. Council looking for the ball. He gives it out to Nornor. Nornor hits it into a nice tackle there from Nepier, and uh, I think that was Fraser with him. Or Ricky White, or sorry. Not a good pass there, but nice hands again from uh, Leaf. Jacob Leaf, he's been my pick of the players for Poverty Bay. Out now to Broughton. Big man down the sideline. They three of them fly at him. Turned over here, referee says oh. penalty. I thought that just spilled out, but the referee's got a penalty. High tackle, you see? Pointing to the sky. This one here on the 22, about eight meters in from touch. Toa Tavalu to push this into the corner, I think. They'll go for a line out. Needing to work their way back into the game as the clock ticks down. Just watching here. Full line out coming, Keza. Yep, full line out. All in. They'll try and drive this five meters to the try line. Council at the front of the line out. They go high at the front. Pull it down for the drive, but the jumper is sacked successfully. They drive through, though. They've still got control of this here as Poverty Bay, a couple of meters out from the line. Council marshalling his forwards. Counter ruck coming from the coast, though. They pluck it out through Nornor. He does well. Council looking for the ball. Gives it up now to the big man, Broughton. He's held four out from the line. Can they recycle it? Referee's got advantage here. Poverty Bay with the ball. Council digging in. He goes out now to Austin Brown. They send it out to him. Hubbard. Hubbard throw, floats it wide. Toa Tavalu picks up the bounce. Oh, the referee could have played advantage. He didn't watch the play. He's come back for no advantage. But in the back play, Toa Tavalu got the bounce and scored. Oh, well. You know, a bit of luck both ways there, eh? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, playing advantage. Referee, yeah, unlucky there. I think he just turned because uh, he saw the pass didn't go to hand, and I think he uh, envisaged there was uh, no advantage, so he's gone back. Penalty here to Poverty Bay. Right, five metres out, there's a sub coming. Tane. Oh. Tane Opodi. Tane Opodi. Tane Opodi. Tane Opodi out there. Number 22 making his debut, I think. He replaces uh, Tione Hubbard. There's not much to that Hubbard, but boy, he does well in the midfield. Oh, there's not much to a lot of those backs, but they're very swift. Scrum down. Poverty Bay have uh, gone for the scrum call here. Five meter scrum. And the, certainly the injection of Jared uh, Broughton in the second half has evened up those scrums. If not, given Poverty Bay the upper hand at scrum time in the second half. Ball in. They're keeping it in the back here. Poverty Bay it comes out the back now to Reedy, and it's messed up. Nice uh, work there from uh, Council, though, to tidy it up. Austin Brown, he's got players all over him, but he's shoving off a few. Poverty Bay working it up towards the five meter here. Council looking for the ball. Gives it up to the big man, Broughton, again. They have to fly at him and tackle him when he's got the ball. Pick and go here from Poverty Bay. They're taken down two metres out from the line. Council, he's got Broughton again. Broughton going for a drive. Knock, Knock on. on. Penalty though, referee was playing advantage. Little bit of a knock on in there from the big man. I think they'll call a scrum again, Keza. I think the yep, referees... Uh, I think so. Referee thought he was going to stop playing every word to the coast. No, scrum called. Another attacking scrum here. The only downside of this is it's eating up the clock. What a difference the, the big man, Broughton, Nati, has made coming Na on. Nati Pro leading 28-14. And just going off my watch, there's about eight minutes to go. Referee, of course, sole judge of time. Scrum down, Poverty Bay attacking scrum. Five meter scrum right in front of the East Coast post. Split back line. 
And we wait for the scrum to set here. Council having a look at his options. He's got Toa Tavalu out to the right. He's got the big man, uh, Jacob Leaf, who's had a strong game at second five out to the left here. They come out to Leaf. Oh, he gets the pass away to the new man on the park. First touch of the ball. And Opodi gets a try. Tay Opodi, well worked move there. As I said, Jacob Leaf, he's been having a strong game all day and that time there with the offload. Nice, nice offload to his uh, new Beautiful. center. And uh, Taino Pody, sorry, he's got a bit of a limp after yeah, that. Yeah, already. He did, he did well, though, to, to get over the line. 28 points to 19. Nati Pro still lead. Toa Tavalu with the attempted conversion here. He's 15 in from this near side of touch. Pretty kickable. About four metres inside the 22. And the referee's just shifted him because he was on the wrong spot. So he's gone out about 17 metres from the touch line now. He'll be wanting to do this pretty quickly. I think uh, Poverty Bay will still need to score twice if they want to win this. He comes in now. He strikes. It's a beautiful kick that hooks into the, the middle of the goalpost there. I thought it was going to hook right in front of mm. him. Nati Pro restart coming. Seven points in it. Seven points in it, sorry. They could lock it up with a with a with a try with a converted try. About, to go. about six minutes to six go. Six to go. Well, according to our watch, <laughs> it's a blue-eyed watch too. As Tarangi Fraser about to get us underway again. It's a deep kick and it's uh, taken there by Andrew Tavalu. He puts the boot to it. Looks for touch across on that far side. Finds it. Beautiful touch finder there. He takes play five metres inside Nats Pro territory. Big boot. That's probably been missing mm. all game. Their kicking game hasn't been good in the, uh, for the most of the game. That one there. Beautiful kick by Toa Tabalu. Short line out coming here for Nati Pro. Jorian Tagaide is waiting for the call. They go high though, and it's messy. It's come back on the coast side. Referee's got a knock on though against Nati Pro. It'll be a scrum feed here for Poverty Bay as things start to get interesting as we wind down the, towards the end of this game. A seven pointer from Poverty Bay will lock this up. That's right, first line out that uh, Nati Pro has, has lost all game. Scrum down. This one here, five meters inside Nati Pro territory. 15 in from their far side of touch. As so we wait for the referee to call the scrums in. Scrum down, ball in. Council puts the ball in. Plucks it out now. He gives it up to Leaf. Leaf with a long pass out to Toa Tavalu. He's taken. In the midfield, nice pick up there. Little knock on though, as the coast pick it up. Referee's got no advantage. Good, Good tackle tea. there uh, on Toa Tavalu. I think if he had got through that, he was gone. Little knock on in there. It'll be a Knights Pro East Coast scrum feed. Just inside their 10 meter mark. About 17 in from this near side of touch. Ref having a word to Nehe Milda Scudder about something. Scudder's oh. come to the wing. Yeah. I'm not sure what that was about. Yeah, we'll ask him later. We'll have to have a word. What was that referee talking to <laughs> about, cousin? <laughs> scrum down. Midfield scrum. Just inside Knights Blue East Coast 10 meter line. And hasn't the big man Martin had a good game for the coast? Oh, he's been awesome. What an honour to come back here and represent mm. your, your dad in his, in his uh, favourite club uh, yeah, representative jersey. Big mihi to the Martin Afano. I'll have a read. And I heard a Adrian Collier. 
Oh, really? So it's been 20 years since he's worn, worn the sky blue jersey. Great to see him back out there again. <laughs> He would have been a young fellow when he would have been that. a young fellow, yeah. So great to see him. As we wait for the scrum to set. Score 28 21. Counting down the minutes here. My clock says three minutes to go. We haven't had any stoppages. Ball at the back now. Hideaway. It's messy, but it's tidied up there by Baker. Referee's got a little knock on. Messi at the back of the scrum there, and the pressure has definitely come on at scrum time, Gather. Yeah, yeah, the big fellow brought in there. He's just uh, stretching the old hamstring. I didn't realize they had hamstrings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that front row, they're an exclusive club, eh? Scrum down anyway. Opportunity wow. here for Poverty Bay now. He's made a huge difference to their scrum. A little knock on in there. Scrum down on the 10 meter line. Midfield scrum here for Poverty Bay. They have a bit of a blind. Scudder drops back to fullback this time. Waiting for the scrum to set. Ref calls them in. Ball in. It's at the back there. Reedy picks it up now. They come blind. Council puts the boot through. Scudder chasing it. Looking for the corner, Scudder's going to take it out. It's going to be an attacking line out coming for Poverty Bay. Nice Whoa. little kick there from Council. Put the pressure on. There was nothing Scudder could do. I mean, Scudder could do, but take that over the sideline. An attacking a bit line of a out roll. coming here for Poverty Bay. This is it, all or nothing. We're counting down to full time. It's definitely on a roll. These they uh, look for Allen at the front. This Poverty Bay second. team. Poverty Bay driving over the top of this. They come blind. Council looking for the ball. Gives it up now to Broughton. The big man driving. They pull him down just shy of the line. Council looking for the ball again. Referee's got a penalty. The Nazi blow. He's ghost. This will relieve the pressure. Not sure what happened in there, but there's a penalty out of that that's come to the coast. Off their feet, Off I their think, feet. is the call. That's the gesture from the rip. Supporting, pl supporting players losing their feet. Penalty here to Nazi Pro East Coast. They'll get the opportunity to look for touch. As Tirangi Fraser will look for the sideline. He'll want to make sure this goes in to touch. Brings it up towards the 22. <laughs> As the Poverty Bay player makes the mark for the touchy. It's over here, touchy. This way it went out. Line out coming here. Defensive line out for Nazi Pro. And the big cousin, Ricky Whitehall. He's being quiet. Biding his time. How long's he got? A <laughs> couple of minutes to go here, Farno. Oh, well, here he goes. Well, my, my watch is saying full time. We're in the referee's hands. Tonight here with the throw. They go to a hideaway at the back. It's stolen oh. there by Laws. Ooh. Just what Poverty Bay needed as uh, Broughton drives it down the sideline. Council looking for the ball. Sends it out to Brown. Brown takes it into contact. They get over the top of this. Council, looking for it again, sends it out now to Leaf. Jacob Leaf charging like he's done all game. Penalty coming here against Nazi Pro. Quick tap taken. Not back 10, I think. Knock on. Oh! That's full time. Nazi Pro, East Coast, have come They've out done on it. top. What a close game. What a game, Keza. Oh, what what defense to hold out Poverty Bay. They were, that last 15 minutes, it was all red. That uh, injection, as I said, and we kept mentioning it, Jared Broughton, he brought on a huge uh, movement there for Poverty Bay. Every scrum, he turned it around. Unlucky there at that last uh, attempt at, at leveling the game there for Poverty Bay, but 
as a Ngāti Pro East Coast former player, former ref, and a, yeah. and a <laughs> true blue supporter. You can hear it in our voices, whānau. We're happy for the boys. Celebrating 100 years of rugby. Big mihi to our sponsors, of course. Ngāti Pro uh, Hoko and Te Runanga Nui o Ngāti Pro. Big mihi to our uh, production team behind the scenes. We've got Dex Hat and I've forgotten the bro's name. <laughs> What's his name? Chrome. Chrome. Kia ora, brothers. <laughs> Big mihi to our team behind the scenes bringing you the coverage. Of course, my co-commentator, Kahu. Any last words, my brother? Who's your player of the day, Por? Ah, uh, I give it to all of them in the blue jersey. <laughs> they, it was, yeah. a, was a team effort out team there today. Effort. I don't Certainly think was. one man uh, can be singled out out of that blue jersey today. There was a few of them had good games, but uh, I think the team effort got them through. Well said. I agree. I concur, brother. That's our lot, Farno. Uh, big mihi to our sponsors. Big mihi to, of course, uh, Maria back there in the studio doing the hard yards while everyone down here having some fun. We'll be back next week with your club rugby. Congratulations to Ngāti Pro East Coast. They come out on top 28-21. Kakite. Kakite.